Hello, what's up YouTube? Ron is with it, another color grading tutorial and in this tutorial I want to show you guys how I did the color grading for this particular image. Ever since I posted it on my Instagram, I have been getting so many questions about doing a color grading tutorial of this particular image or of this series of these images. So what I basically did was coming and let me first give you a brief information about this image. I shot it using a Canon 6D camera and ISO 100 using a 70-200mm lens and it is a Tamron and I shot it at 152mm and at f4 and the shutter speed was 400th of a second. So that is it and for the lighting setup I used my Godox 600 bm and it was at half power and the reason for that is because the sun was coming from this or the left hand side of this model right here so I had to put my light on the right hand, hand side and try to overpower that sun so basically that is what I did while I was shooting this image so the very first thing I did when it came to shooting this I shot it in RAW and if at all you don't shoot in RAW you're not going to be able to get this profile or picture profile so depending on the camera profile or picture profile that you shoot in you simply have to come to the profile and change it to your preferred profile or the way you shot the image so I shoot in landscape so I'm just going to come and I select landscape then when I do that you're going to notice that the image tends to be oversaturated and we're going to be dealing with that later on in this very tutorial so the next thing I'm going to do is try to eliminate the amount of magentas in this image. Remember, since I shoot with a Canon camera, there is a way Canon really has that strong magenta, especially if at all you change the picture profile in landscape. So I'm just going to come to the tint option and I'm going to reduce on the amount of tint in this image up to that point. And I think you can see the difference it has made to this image and I've gotten those nice and beautiful skin tones in this model's uh, skin rather. I hope I'm making sense by that statement anyway. So the next thing I'm going to do, I'm just going to come to the highlights and since I want to recover the highlights right here in the background, I'm just going to take my highlights all the way down just like that. And you can see that we are trying to re recover or regain the information in the sky. And I'm going to do the same for my whites just like that and you can see that now the sky is turning out to look blue and beautiful then the next thing i'm going to do is coming to the blacks of this image and i'm just going to take down the blacks just like that but not all the way so i'm just going to leave it around uh 41 then the next thing is going to be since this since when you pull the blacks down it introduces shadows in the image I want to try to eliminate the shadows in this image so I'm just going to move the shadows up up to when I feel like I'm really comfortable with uh, that so I'm just going to move it up so I think at around 56 we are okay so this is the before and this is where we are right now and you can see how the image is now getting really transformed and it's turning out to look a beautiful so after that the next thing i did remember i told you like the image really gets oversaturated when you apply the landscape picture profile in the camera or lightroom so i'm just going to come the saturation and i'm just going to reduce on the saturation of this image just uh, like that then come to the vibrance and come and push it up so that i can get more rich skin tones in this particular image and just going to leave it at around 19 so you can see the before and after before after so the next thing is going to be coming straight down to the HSO panel and we do adjustments to particular colors in this image so we are just going to start with the hues of this particular image so since I wanted to get uh, my green my greens looking like a little bit yellow I'm just going to come to this side of the greens and I take them towards the yellow side and you can see that we are now heading to getting that nice beautiful image like the one I posted on my Instagram 
then I'm going to come to the yellows and also move them towards the oranges and this is going to transform the image a little bit more so I think that is nice and it looks good so the next bit is going to be handling the saturation of the image so I'm just going to come to the saturation and I reduce on the saturation of the greens so I'm just going to reduce uh, the saturation slightly to around negative 18 and I think that is fine and that is it for the saturation the next thing is going to be coming to the luminance and other luminance what I'm going to do I'm simply going to come to the greens and simply knock them down and also do the same for the yellows just a little bit it shouldn't be like too much just do less so what I wanted to do in this tutorial I wanted to also show you guys how I whiten the eyes then we can go into Photoshop and do some little basic adjustments onto this image and color grade it even better so I'm just going to come and zoom into the eyes command plus and come and get the adjustment brush tool make sure I turn down the temperature to around a negative 18 and remove the greens from the eye area remember we have green color right there so I want the eyes to pop I'm just going to push the highlights to 5 and also do the same for my whites to around 6 and desaturate the rest of the colors that may be appearing in the white area of the eye to around 67 and simply left click and paint over the white area just to whiten the eyes and give them a whole different vibe so command minus to zoom out and you can see that this is really a beautiful step so you can even do the same for the teeth if at all you want to so I'm just going to do that for only eyes and I'm going to open the image into Photoshop so just hit open to open the image into Photoshop and it's going to take a few steps and I know my desktop looks a little bit messy but uh, let's just come into Photoshop so what I did I came and I uh, got my crop tool and I chose a ratio of 45 since this image was for Instagram and I cropped it in just like that I hit enter and that is all I did then I got my spot healing brush tool I created a new layer from the background by hitting Control command J on the keyboard increase on the size of the spot healing brush tool by using the box brackets on the keyboard and simply painted over the stand for my light to eliminate it then what I did next as it is eliminating is I simply wanted to target the darks or the blacks in this uh, model's hair and in order to target these blacks I simply had to come to the band tool and the range was uh, the midtones exposure I put it to around 35 then I hit command plus to zoom in because I wanted to darken the hair a little bit more so I left clicked and started painting over to darken the hair even more and I have that nice contrast in uh, the model's hair just like that and you can see that this is going to transform the image even more command minus to zoom out so you can see the before and after before after then I came to my selective color and I came to the blacks and simply intensified the blacks even a little bit more. So you can see that this is really turning out to look beautiful. So the next step was adding some contrast to the image. So I came to brightness and contrast and I activated use legacy because I wanted the image to pop a little bit more. So I just turned up uh, the contrast of this image to around 2. And this is all I did for color grading this very image. And if at all you have loved this tutorial, don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to subscribe this channel. If at all you have been watching and you have never subscribed this channel, Ronix from Ronix Photography. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in yet more tutorials. And don't forget to keep practicing and keep creating.